Hey guys, it's Annie, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be doing some lettering, like full autumn vibes and be sure to like, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more art and bullet journal content like this and let's get right on to it. So normally my videos are have more like a very minimal like background on my desk but for this video I thought I'd get some little pine cones, my little cactus plant and some like a little fake candle and otherwise I'll probably burn the house down by forgetting to um, put it out but I just thought I'd add some little autumn vibes to this setup for this video. So the first quote I'm doing I'm just sketching out in pencil what I'm gonna write and all the doodles I'm gonna do just so I don't get it wrong and mess it up. So I just did some lettering in the middle saying hello autumn in this nice like color calligraphic font and I'm gonna use my combo food no ski to go over that and then around that I'm just do it sketching out some leaves and different like autumn nature things so I also did I think I did an acorn and different like some pine leaves some oak leaves like maple leaves loads of different kind of things so I'm just sketching them out and adding all of the little details in pencil before I add some color and do the actual pen So now that I've finished sketching out in pencil, I'm just going in with my Tomboy Fudinoski to go over the lettering that I sketched out at the beginning. So I'm using the Tomboy Fudinoski hard tip, basically um, a smaller version of the Tombow dual tip brush pen and it makes my writing more intricate and precise and I just prefer to use this one for smaller writing and I'm using the hard tip which for me personally gives me more control over what I'm writing but obviously if you want to use the soft tip then go ahead it's just basically whatever you prefer and whatever your preference is for when you are doing lettering. So now that I've finished doing that I'm going to begin sketching out all of my little leaves and nature doodles and for this I'm going to use my Uniball fine liner which is my go-to fine liner and I love it so much and I'm using the 0.2 tip as all of the little details like the veins and the edges of the like crumpled sort of maple leaf I'm starting with is very intricate and fine so I think that size is perfect for it and I went over the edge like the I went around again in the thicker one just to show that that is like the edge of it and not just like a wrinkle. And now I'm going in with my brown brush mild liner to add in some little accents but then I decided that didn't look very good so I kind of coloured the whole thing in and added little accents and shadows in a different brown over the top which I think turned out very nice. So I forgot to mention that I am doing also, in the Hello Autumn quote, I'm doing um, loads of different types of doodles and illustrations of leaves. Some of them I'm doing just with a fine liner, black and white, kind of straightforward and simple. 
but for others I am doing just with felt tip and some of most of the other ones I'm doing with the more detailed realistic kind of drawings so with felt tip and fine liner together so yeah I thought I'd just mention that and I really like the effect of the um, variety of the different um, art styles I'm using in that little lettering quote. So for this next quote, I'm literally just doing sort of more of a scrapbooky kind of um, minimal quote. So I got some spare newspaper and also find some craft paper and I cut them to fit the corner of this piece of card and um, I ripped them as well to give it that nice scrapbook effect and I pasted them in onto my piece of card using my glue stick. So the writing I'm doing for this kind of quote, I'm doing five different phrases that remind me of fall and autumn and the bottom using my black fine liner I wrote autumn in this nice cursive font but I think it does look really effective at the end and I might be able to say this is my favorite one but I do love the other one I did as well so I did the five phrases I did were crispy air fiery leaves bonfires apple cider mountain camping which do really just bring me those autumn vibes and I love it and I think it just really sums it all up in one little quote. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to like, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more art and other journal content from me. See you next time guys. Bye.